Hi, it's Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project once again. Um, and bringing you a video where we're going to uh, talk about the, uh, the individualized interval power target calculator that's going to be um, released or, or made live on Final Surge this week. Um, this time I want to talk a little bit about um, when to use it and how to use it, particularly with uh, if you're using one of my training plans and you're using structured workouts. So uh, let's start with just a little bit of a recap. The, the, the uh, individualized interval power target calculator will be on Final Surge and it uses uh, a uh, relatively recent, meaning within the, the last four to six weeks, um, uh, a relatively recent and uh, valid estimate of critical power or uh, functional threshold power, FTP, and reserve work capacity, which uh, um, uh, is also known as W prime or in WKO parlance, it's it's FRC, functional reserve capacity. I like reserve work capacity. Um, but it requires a valid estimate of, of both of these so it can generate uh, individualized uh, power uh, targets for intervals. Um, the intervals generally are intervals that are, are you know, around 10 minutes or less and becomes more important as you get into higher uh, intensity intervals of shorter duration. Um, so these these values can come from a CP test or can come from WKO where you use uh, a well-optimized uh, power duration model uh, figures um, of MFTP and FRC in these boxes respectively or uh, something like Golden Cheetah where you're using CP and W prime from there power duration model. Um, the bottom line is that you need both of these for this particular calculator. And what it'll do, I, I had an athlete that recently did a CP test and came up with these, these results. 305 watts is a critical power estimate and 7.2 kilojoules was a reserve work capacity estimate. And this, this athlete has a non-wind stride pod, so the reserve work capacity is generally a little bit lower in uh, the, that's, that scenario with a non-wind pod as opposed to a wind pod. Uh, nevertheless, uh, both of these are, are entered and you come up with these targets. So uh, if the athlete was running near threshold intervals of seven to 10 minutes, the power target is about 98 to 102% of FTP, which is 95 to 305 watts. Um, if the if athlete was doing a set of a super threshold intervals in the five to six minute range, um, the target's about 102 to 105% of, uh, of FTP or critical power, 307 to 314 watts. And if the person was doing a, a max interval power, a max aerobic uh, uh, power uh, workout, using work intervals in the two minute and 30 to three minute range, um, then the um, the target would be about 105 to 109% um, for 314 to 312. So these numbers, these power targets, and the percentage of that person's indiv uh, individual CP or FTP is specific to that individual based on these numbers. Now, if you look at my uh, typical uh, prescriptions in my training plans, the generic um, prescriptions based on percent of CP or percent of FTP, so only one reference value, and that's the critical power or, or functional threshold power, if you look at those, the typical uh, prescription for near threshold interval is 98 to 100% of FTP or CP for uh, seven to 10 minutes. For super threshold, the target is 100 to 102%. That's based on CP. 
And for max aerobic power, those are the two minute and 30 second to three minute intervals in the plants. They're generally prescribed at 104 to 106%. You can see that that is different than the individualized target that includes both critical power and reserve work capacity. Um, these are a little bit harder, a little bit higher relative intensity. So th the first point I want to make is when to use this calculator to generate interval power targets. Well, you, you, you want to have uh, some experience doing intervals so they're not uh, completely foreign to you. Um, and you want to have a valid uh, critical power and reserve work capacity effort. And uh, lastly, um, if you're finding that the usual targets that are in the plans are already too hard, then don't use this calculator. It's only going to make them harder. Now, if you're, if you're experienced with intervals and you have a valid critical power reserve work capacity uh, estimate, and you're able to handle the, the usual um, workout intensities based on CP or FTP alone, and you're able to handle those, then this is the calculator for you. So consider this a calculator that is for a little bit more advanced slash individualized uh, interval power targeting. Um, it is superior. I mean, I've, I've worked it with my own one-on-one -on -one coached athletes. I've run a beta test, and um, these, these targets are quite doable and um, achievable. Um, they're, not, they're not, you know, uh, a, a skate-by workout where you're really, you know, going really easy. No, these are, these are um, challenging workouts, but they're effective and they're uh, appropriate for the individual's valid critical power and reserve work capacity. So let me now go into um, the, the next step. So let's assume that you uh, have a valid CP, a valid reserve work capacity, you have experience doing intervals, and you're, you've you're, you're able to knock these uh, usual targets out. Um, and you want to um, step up to a, a more individualized, slightly more advanced um, interval power targeting. And let's also assume that you have, um, um, you want to use a structured workout. So I'm using this as an example here. Uh, this this is how it might look in my plans. It might look like uh, an entry in the cal calendar, max aerobic intervals. Here, I'll just expand that. Max aerobic power, VO2 max workout, five times three minutes at 104 to 106% of FTP CP. That's the way it will be in the plan. Um, now, you, what you want to do is say, I'm going to override it. I'm going to... For max aerobic power interval, let's say you're you're this individual with a 305 critical uh, uh, power, uh, 305 watt critical power, and 7.2 kilojoule uh, reserve work capacity, then your target for for intervals, any intervals in the two minute and 30 to four to three minute range, is going to be this 105 to 109 percent, 314 to 328 watts. So. How do I override that? So I, what I do is I'll, I'll come to my calendar entry, which looks like this. I can see the uh, structured workout has been built. And I'll go into Workout Builder. Now it has the critical power part, but it does not have the reserve work capacity. We uh, hopefully uh, will eventually have this automated where you enter both and it'll pop out your, um, your advanced uh, individualized power targets. Um, but for the time being, you're going to have to override it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. Notice that the workout is written as 104 to 106%, just as it's written in the title. 
And when you enter 305 watts as the, the, um, the critical power or FTP, um, it populates. It would be 318 to 324 watts would be the target based on the standard prescription based on CP. To override it, you, you, you exit out of that. Let me go and do that again uh, just to show you. So this is how it looks like when you get the plan and you open it up. What you do is you want to come over here, remove the target. But now you want to just set a power zone. Uh, I'm sorry. You want to set a uh, power target. And the power target, again, is 314 to 328. So 314 to 328 based on that calculator. And now you've modified that structured workout. So it now is has the power range drawn in or uh, manually entered in from the uh, calculator. So once again, um, that was a three minute interval. If it happened to have been a uh, you know, five minute intervals at 100 to 102%, then you would come over here and say, okay, five minute intervals, the, the new target is 307 to 314. And you change from the percentage base. I'm just going to uh, type type those numbers in, 100 to 102. Again, we're assuming this is five minute intervals. Five minute intervals. Um, so you're just, all you're doing is removing the percentage based target and you're going to be entering the power target from over here, 307 to 314, 307 to 314. And there you have it. And then all you need, need to do is save it. And now when uh, you transfer that structured workout uh, to your watch, it will now have that uh, power target, the new power target that you transferred from here from the calculator. So hopefully this, uh, this helps uh, on using this calculator. Uh, for the time being, you have to manually transfer over to structured workouts um, after you've uh, calculated your targets. And um, it, it, most of my workouts come in uh, these descriptors, near threshold, super threshold, max aerobic power, and come in these durations. That's why I wrote the calculator this way. So all you have to do is enter read, transfer over. Thank you for watching. Uh, there may be uh, still some other uh, uh, informational videos on this particular calculator. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching this one. We'll see you next time.